the time now is 12 midnight on this Wednesday morning. May the 7th, 2014 on a Wednesday morning. Time now for the Weather Magician PJ Wiggins. The overnight, midnight, late night report. Wednesday morning, May 7th, 2014. Good morning, everybody. Our congregation's at 12 midnight in North Massachusetts. Got a temperature of 41 degrees with fair skies. We've been to the 76%. With speed is calm. Barometer 3.03 inches. Zoom put about 34 degrees and a visible wave 10 miles. All right. Let's take a look at our radar scope. It shows. A couple of batches of rain showers in any soon portions of British Columbia. Any soon portions of New Brunswick and stretching on central portions of Nova Scotia. A couple of batches of rain showers off the eastern west, eastern Virginia and off the Virginia coastline. A couple of batches of rain showers in the extreme northeastern Island and on the northwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, rain showers in the northern Michigan. A lot of showers and thunderstorms with some damaging winds hail from southwestern Michigan and stretching out for Lake Michigan and down for the northern suburbs of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and for Oshkosh and down for Stevens Point in Wisconsin. Here, so these are some damaging winds around Oshkosh and around West Bend near Milwaukee and then stretching west of Grand Rapids in Michigan. Here. And the rain showers and some hail, stretching of the northern Minnesota down for North Dakota down for western portions of South Dakota down for western Nebraska, stretching it down for northeastern portions of Wyoming and for east central portions of Montana. A couple of the bunch of rain showers, west central portions of Illinois. And a couple of the bunch of snow showers, the west central portions of Wyoming and for Utah and stretching down for western Montana. With some rain showers from Utah down for Vermont. Nevada, then for eastern portions of California, some snow showers. It's really soon Sierras. Rain, sleet, and snow showers in the northeastern portions of Oregon, and for the southeastern portions of Washington State. Rain, sleet, and snow showers in the St. Helens area of Washington State, and rain showers in the Olympics to Washington State. And some snow flurries in the southeastern portions of British Columbia and Southern Alberta, then for west central portions of Saskatchewan. And a couple of extra rain showers in the southeastern portions of Saskatchewan, and for Manitoba. And a couple of extra rain showers. West Central Portion of Arizona, a rain shots of Central Portion of Texas and the North Central Portion of Mexico. Rain shots in the Eastern Portion of Oklahoma. We got Bertrand, Missouri. Good evening. It's 74 degrees with clear skies here. I let us take a look at our shade. Like, no. So a couple of batch clouds from West Virginia, stretching out much Great Lakes, and from Minnesota, Iowa, stretching out the quarters, and now from the Nova Rockies, and then to the greater southwest, and another batch clouds from Nevada, then from California, and patch clouds from British Columbia, stretching out Alberta, and clouds from Saskatchewan, and now from Manitoba, and from southwestern portions of Oregon, and now from north central portions of Quebec. A couple of batch clouds from New Hampshire, a couple of batch clouds from eastern portions of um, New Brunswick and stretch it out through Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, all let's take a look at our map situation here. Station five from Central British Columbia, stretch it out for Washington and the cold front from Washington. Down from the north to Idaho, down from Montana, and stretch it out to go to warm front down through Manitoba. And a cold front from South Central Los California, down for Southern Nevada, and down and the station front from Utah. So down Colorado, down for Kansas, and down for Missouri, and then for Illinois, and then for Indiana, and a cold front from North Carolina and out to sea, and another cold front off the Virginia coastline. We got high pressure in Quebec, and low pressure in North Dakota, low pressure in Northern Arizona, Western Colorado, Western Kansas, Missouri, and Kentucky and Tennessee. Wait, and at the sea. 50 degrees at temperature out of Boston. It's 62 in Washington, D.C. 71 in Atlanta. 78 in Miami, Florida. 35 in Brownsville. 81 in Dallas, Texas. 77 in Kansas City. 51 in Chicago. 60 in Minneapolis. 32 in Great Falls, Montana. 55 in Seattle. 57 in San Francisco. 61 in Los Angeles. 71 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 61 in Denver, Colorado. 48 in Salt Lake City.
Target issues, man, in region. We got a 50 degree temperature reading for Boston. It's 45 for Fitchburg and Bedford. 40 in Beverly, 46 in Gloucester. 50 in Worcester and in Webster. 44 in Surbridge. 51 in Milford. 41 in Odie. No one. 44 in Taunton. 49 in Bedford. 46 in Falmouth. 50 in Chatham. And then Marfa's Vineyard. 51 in. She said that she was held down by her neck and choke. Kick off in and then that's a good 48 out in Burma Sound. It is 40 out in Garden, 47 in Greenfield, 45 in Amherst, 45 in Springfield, 43 out of Pittsfield, 38 in North Adams, 49 in Albany, 48 in Bainton, 39 in King, 45 in Jeffrey, 47 in Cockney, Manchester, and Sure, Matt, National New Hampshire, 50 in Boston, New Hampshire, 52 out in New Hampshire Bay. 48 in Windlock, 47 in Hartford, 48 in Meriden, 52 in Den Waterbury, 53 in Denver, 56 in New Haven, 57 in Bridgeport. It is 59 out in New York City, 53 in Nisla Bend, 53 in Montauk. The judge made it clear that part of your punishment was because you weren't committed to the crime. Okay, let's take a look at our short range fight with the question around New England here. Around the country. Heavy rain possible over the parts of the Northern Plains and temperatures will be 15 to 20 degrees below average over the parts of the Northern Iron Plains. The Quasi Station fan extending from the southern Milan westward to the Rockies of Great Basin will have a wave of low pressure develop over the central Rockies and the wave will slowly move eastward to the central plains by Thursday morning. Upper level energy flow over the upper Midwest and Mid Atlantic will trigger showers and thunderstorms over parts of the upper Great Lakes to the Mid Atlantic that will be winning in the Mid Atlantic by Thursday. And this showers and thunderstorms will develop over a dry light over parts of the southern plains by Tuesday. Even if not on Wednesday, even if expanded the parts of the central plains and the middle of lower Mississippi Valley by two Thursday evening. Meanwhile, the answer ship upper level trail will move eastward from the Great Basin and the central plains by Thursday. The project will produce rain from the parts of the Great Basin and the Dover plains with an area of a better size of thunderstorms so over the parts of the central Rockies by Wednesday morning. Snow also developed over the parts of the day Sierra on Tuesday evening and the snow to develop over the parts of the higher elevation than the Dover and the central Rockies and the East Great Basin over that Tuesday to Thursday. I don't show you moisture from the Gulf of Mexico will flow northward over the plains and the, the development of moderate heavy rain over the parts of the north of the South Rockies on Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms will develop over the parts of the upper Mississippi Valley by Wednesday evening to the upper Great Lakes by Thursday morning. Elsewhere, the upper in front over the eastern Pacific will produce slight rain over the parts of the north, Pacific and northwest coast by Thursday morning. So you're not necessarily going to try to go for a legislative seat. Okay, high pressure. North of the Great Lakes will slowly build across New England Friday Thursday. A war front will slowly report from the southwest during Friday, bringing a period of scattered showers. Another front moves across during the weekend, then stalls off to the coast of weak high pressure may bring direct conditions on the next week. Near term until 6 a.m. Wednesday morning, 10 15 p.m. update. Clear skies and dying winds will allow for a few sites to start reading out. Expect the trend to continue over the next few hours. It's certain some patchy frost warning into the regions that are already in growth season. A wise forecast on track for this evening. And tonight, short wave and mid level trough axis will move offshore as surface high pressure gradually builds into the region. From the northwest, with dry air in the low and middle levels moving into from the west. Expect clear skies. Uh, and the mission winds will will be with all the chilly that low temperatures will be mostly for the uh, 30s away from the coast with isolated sub freezing rain is mm -hmm. possibly across northwest Massachusetts and southwest direction. Temperatures are low to mid 40s near to the coast. And those over that we will see 45 for Boston, 44 for Providence, 44 for Newport, and 44 for Provincetown and Nantucket, 41 for Worcester, 41 in New London, 43 for Bridgeport, 42 for Hartford. 45 on Mata, but when you get to 41 in Worcester, 38 in Pittsburgh, 38 in Springfield, Mass, 39 in Greenfield, 41 in Pittsfield, 35 in Manchester, Vermont, 38 in Springfield, Vermont, 36 in Balboa, 35 in Keene, New Hampshire, 35 in Cockney, New Hampshire, 42 in Manchester, and 44 in Portsmouth. So, overnight lows will be from 35 up north to 45 in Montauk. So, 35, 45 degrees will be the temperature spread for the overnight hours. Later today, we will warm up to 63 for Boston, 64 for Worcester, 67 in Hartford, 66 for New York, 68 for Albany, 63 for Hunton, and 65 for Cockburn, and 61 for Potomac. Bay. So, temperature range for later today, 61 to 68 degrees here. School bus forecast, 7 a.m., 46 degrees with size guys. 2 p.m., 6 more degrees ice guys. So, kids need to let check it in the morning, but they don't need it in the evening because it's going to be beautiful. Okay.
Let's take a look at our deck cam forecast at midnight tonight out in Norton. I gotta use my hands for voice. Beautiful night on tap. A little chill here, but a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night on tap. Oh wait, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. While you're sleeping on that house, isn't it? Clear sky, north 36 degrees, with a northwest wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. For Wednesday, sand skies warming up to 69 degrees, northwest wind about 5 to 9 miles per hour. With that, Park Oscar got low 43 degrees, south wind about 5 miles per hour, and common evening. Thursday, parts of sand skies at 6 to 7 degrees, common wind becoming seven around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Thursday night, most of the will lower in 47 degrees south, winning about 5 miles per hour in common evening. Friday, SLA shots, most of the cast in the 60 degrees, shows per space to 20%. Friday night, scatter shots after 11 p.m., Puck G. Falk after 5 a.m., above our sky sky, low 53 degrees, shows per space to 40%. First Saturday, scattered showers, Puck G. Falk before 7 a.m., above our sky sky, under 71 degrees, shows per space to 30%. Saturday night, scatter showers, both sky sky, low 58 degrees, shows per space to 30%. And for Sunday, scattered showers, Puck G. Falk after 74 degrees, shows per space to 30%. Sunday night, Park Oscar got low 53 degrees. Monday, most of the skies are there, 71 degrees. Monday night, Park Oscar got low 52 degrees for Tuesday. Park Oscar got there, 65 degrees. Bears, what a phase of the night. Clear and cool, chilling in tap and sunny in a mountain day and wonderful Wednesday in tap. This is BJ Team of Good Night with a good positive attitude by Studio Mall Morning. Good night.